Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, the CEO of Audio Advice. Today I'm going to show you something super cool. What I'm going to be talking about is the Samsung The Wall, which is essentially a massive TV. And what I want to go through is, you know, when are the times that you would want to do a massive wall TV? In other words, bigger than what you could go buy at a Best Buy or somewhere like that. And when are the times you'd rather do a projector? And I'm going to show you what Audio Advice can do, not just in North Carolina markets, but all over the country. If you're thinking about, my gosh, I want to have a television really big so I can have an immersive experience, but I want the brightness of a TV that you can't get right now in projectors. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm actually right in front of the TV. I wanted you guys a sense of what happens when it was dark in the room. It was totally dark. We're sitting in a ballroom in Sheraton Hotel, which is Audio Advice Live in Raleigh. And now the lights are totally on. And so I want you guys a sense of how bright this is. You could never do this with a projector to turn on all the ballroom lights in this ballroom and have this kind of brightness coming from it. So that's one of the advantages of doing a really large television. So one of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to cut just for a second and I'm going to go down. This is the 146 inch version that we do. There's a 110 inch version that's on another part of this hotel. And I just want to show you that. And I'm going to come back and go into detail here on why you would, you know, go one way or the other and show you some details. So let's go down there. Okay. So we also have a 110 inch diagonal version. I'm at Audio Advice Live where we have multiple walls showing, but just so you get a sense of scale of this, it's the same concept. And again, we're actually sitting in a massive open atrium in the Sheraton. So I wanted you to get a sense of what happens when all the light comes in. So we literally have total sunlight. Maybe you can get a shot of that so all the viewers can see total sunlight coming in and you can see how bright this still is. So you, you've got a great example of having this in a home that might be super, super bright. Um, I don't know if you look really closely, maybe you can zoom in. You know, in theory, you could see the panels in here, but boy, you'd have to have unbelievable ability because this is a gorgeous uh, television. Okay, so now we're back up here. Again, this is the main ballroom at Audio Advice Live. And what I want to show you, um, if you were thinking about doing one of these televisions that, you know, is bigger than 110 inches, so something bigger than you go buy at a Best Buy or somewhere else. Um, the best thing to do is start by going to audioadvice.com and you can go to our home theater page and it has a design tool in it that for free, you put in the dimensions of your room and you can put in a projector or a television of any size and it will help you map out what works for your situation. So what we did, knowing that we needed to build a fake wall to hold all of this and to do this JBL synthesis theater system in here for the show, we put it in the tool, mapped it out, did a 3D design, and then we built this modular wall. So Audio Advice did this uh, custom, and you can see we put speakers in here. Now, normally, if it was in someone's home, you wouldn't see the speakers. We've left them exposed so you can see the center channel in the left and the right, plus the subwoofer so people could enjoy the show. But you get some sense of scale here, even with all the lights on. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about details of the television itself. So this television is micro LED. And their benefits of that are obviously it looks incredible. It gets extremely bright. But the other thing that happens, we've got the Kaleidoscape menu on where you could, you know, it's a movie server here. But where it's black, you can see here, it's totally black because the micro LEDs turn off. So that gives you the great capability to make dark blacks, great contrast ratio, plus the brightness when things are on. So now let's say you've decided, I think I want to do this. I want to play around, try to figure out if it's a projector or not with the bright lights in this room, you can see it can do something that no projector could do. Um, however, we have to make a couple of trade-offs that you need to be aware of if you want to do a television like this. And one of the things that we did recently, we did a job down at the beach in Florida and the customer wanted a full JBL synthesis theater system, but they wanted to make sure that that center channel sat right behind the screen so that the voicing came right from the people. So in that case, it made a lot more sense to do a transparent screen, do a bright, bright projector, which we did. And we had all these JBL synthesis speakers right behind the screen. And so it gave this great theater feel. However, 
The customer also had an open kitchen in a modern home that opened up into a massive living room space that was really modern and cool. And the customer said, I want a massive TV in there. So when we're not trying to do dedicated theater, but we have friends over, that it's incredible. And so consequently in that room, there is a wall television that is massive like this at 146 inches. Now, the other thing that has to happen uh, if, you know, if you called us up at Audivice and said, I want to do this, no matter where you are in the country, we would map out a couple of things for you. So as an example, you need a dedicated 20 amp circuit that goes to this. So if you're building new, we would map that out. And we actually put an electrical outlet here, an electrical outlet here, and then we build a three quarter inch wood wall that goes behind it to support it. You don't actually see that wood wall. I'm gonna go and show you on the side here that we cover it up with essentially a frame so you don't see the wood at all in it. The other thing that happens is we can essentially install this in one day. And if you ever had a pixel or something go out, we literally will come out the next day anywhere around the country and make a swap and fix it so it's working for you. And so we have the ability to do anything from 110 inch up all the way to about 300 inches. So I mean, you're talking about massive screen, but most people are looking today at the 110 inch version that I showed you earlier or you could go to this version at 146 inches, and there's two versions of this. One is a 2K version, and one is full 4K. So when you're thinking about it, think about, okay, is this gonna be used more where I've got light control so I can turn off all the lights, and if I've got that, do I really want all the sound coming from behind it? And do I want this to be more of a dedicated theater room and feel like a movie? In that case, you're going more projector. If it's, I've got this unbelievable room, I want the brightest, best picture, obviously we can get better contrast ratio, we can handle HDR better on a television like this, uh, but we need to move the speakers out and do something a little different, then give us a call and we'd be happy to talk to you about doing the Samsung wall. Okay, so now let me talk a little bit about pixel pitch. And this, obviously we will help you out if you're talking to our team either in the stores or online. But pixel pitch refers to the ability about how close the pixels are next to each other. This particular 146 inch TV has a 0.84 pixel pitch. Now, what does that really mean? What that means from a practical perspective, again, we'll do the details later, but just so you get big picture. If you take 0.84 and multiply it by 10, that gives you how many feet that you need to be away where you cannot see any of the pixels. So for this television, all you need to be is eight feet out here and you will not see any pixels on this thing. Now, if you had a room and you knew you're gonna be five feet in, then this is not gonna be a good solution for you. If you know you're at least eight feet out, you're in a great position. Now, if you did one that's a little bit less expensive, let's say it's got a 1.2 pixel pitch. Now you need to be 12 feet out and so again, we'll help you with all the math, but that's just a big picture way to understand how it works. Now, I just wanna show you something on the screen here. This screen is currently showing something called Kaleidoscape. And Kaleidoscape is a movie server that we do on almost every ultra high-end theater we do. And so this would be applicable to you. If you're doing any of these, you're now in the price range of looking at this movie server, but it is a movie server that delivers fully uncompressed video and audio so that if I wanted to watch, you know, Top Gun Maverick, I will see it just like it was at the movie theater as opposed to stream to you. You can imagine looking at how big this TV is that you cannot just cart this television in by itself. So what we have to do when we bring it in, this particular television has four panels. And you'll notice sitting there, you know, the cameraman's super close right now. You can't see where the panels are, but there's actually four tall panels here that make up this television. And we drop the panels in, connect them, and put them all together. We can do it in less than a day. Um, it's an incredible experience. But you see, it looks like that was never done. It looks truly incredible, even with all these lights on right now. Okay, so one of the things I'm gonna try to do is we're gonna bring the camera as close as we possibly can so maybe you can at least see the panel. You have to get from an angle off to the right or the left to see a line right here, and we're all the way you know, less than 12 inches away. And as you come straight in front of it, you'll lose it. You'll not be able to see where the panels come together. So it shows you how intricately detailed this is done. And as I mentioned earlier, we've got a dedicated 20 amp circuit. The electrical outlet that we put for you here is gonna power these two panels. And the outlet we put over there will power those two panels. And voila, you've got this incredible experience. So if you're even thinking about doing a home theater or a massive television, be sure to jump over to audioadvice.com. There we have a page on home theater. It has 
everything, including the home theater tool I talked about, where you can play around with your own room and see how it looks. Plus, we've got an inspiration gallery, and we've got buyer's guides, everything you could want to learn about it. And then if you happen to live anywhere near any of our showrooms, stop by one of the showrooms, and we'll be happy to help you out and figure out, should I do a projector? Should I do one of these incredible wall televisions? Or if you live anywhere in the United States and you're like, I've seen all devices videos, these guys are experts in doing home theater and doing ultra high-end homes, including home automation systems. And we do them on a lot of the vacation markets, beaches, mountains, things like that. Give us a call or chat with us at audioadvice.com and we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.